Hey, what's up, a-holes? Um, I'm going to be doing my review for the 2014 movie Guardians of the Galaxy. The movie is directed by James Gunn and written by James Gunn and Nicole Perlman. And uh, in this movie, uh, Star-Lord uh, teams up with uh, Gamora, Drax the Destroyer group, and Rocket Raccoon to try to stop Ronan the Accuser from getting an infinity, infinity Stone that he's wanting to use to wipe out the planet Xandar and everything and so the movie is pretty much them getting to know each other and teaming up for the first time um, the cast in this movie is really really good um chris pratt is hilarious and awesome as star lord he, this was the movie that really made him a big name he had been around for a long time and everything but this is a movie that really made him a big movie star and everything and he was just absolutely great in the role um so we sell donna plays gamora and she's um absolutely perfect in the role I, i've always been a really big fan of her i liked her a lot before guardians of the galaxy came out and liked the movies the losers and i liked her in a um avatar and center stage and guess who and uh crossroads with britney spears who's like one of my favorite singers of all time so I absolutely loved that movie, and I thought she was great in all of those, and uh, I love her as Gamora. I think she's absolutely perfect for the role. Um, Dave Bautista plays Drax the Destroyer, and he's absolutely hilarious. He, uh, what gets me is some of his jokes are just flat out. He's just being straight-faced. He, he does a really got, good job with his straight face and everything. Like, he, he he's doesn't really realize I think the jokes that he's making because he, he thinks he's being serious and it just, just makes it a lot funnier um Vin Diesel does the voice of Groot who doesn't really say very much except for I am Groot and he's he does a good job doing his voice and everything kind of reminded me of the Iron Giant because the Iron Giant didn't really talk very much either and Vin Diesel does the voice of him um, Bradley Cooper does the voice of Rocket Raccoon, and he's absolutely perfect for the role. Rocket's one of my favorite characters because of Bradley Cooper. His voice work is him. Um, Lee Place plays Ronan the Accuser. Um, while I know a lot of people think Ronan was kind of one of the typical one-note villains, I actually kind of liked him and everything. I, I'm looking forward to seeing... Captain Marvel because I'm hoping they'll go they'll show more of his backstory and some of the stuff that he talked about in this movie with his backstory and stuff so um, I'm looking forward to seeing him and Captain Marvel um, Karen Gillan plays Nebula who uh, is more of a supporting character in this movie she gets a much bigger role in the sequel and everything but she does a really good job playing her and everything. John C. Riley plays Roman Day, who's uh, one of the uh, the uh, I guess allegiant things on Xandar, and he does a he does a uh, really good job. He's funny in this and everything. Uh, I just wish that he would have had a lot more screen time because he, he, I wish he could have been in this movie a lot more and or would have been in the sequels or whatever because he, he was, he's one of my favorite actors you know, and everything I, I think we just didn't get enough of him but he never really plays big roles in movies so we usually never do get enough of him um, Glenn, Plo <laughs> Glenn Close plays Irony Rail who is the leader of the alliance on Xandar. Um, she does a good job too. She's not in this very much either, but she's she does a good job. And there's parts when they're 
or some jokes and stuff like um, Star Lord, uh, or uh, when Roman Day is telling her the message from Star Lord saying he's not 100% dick, and she said, "Why do you think he?" Said, "I don't know." He said, "I don't really believe that anybody can be 100% dick. It just cracks me up." In that scene and she just keeps a straight face and everything I, I just like how I mean I don't know how they filmed that scene without, without her or without them both laughing and everything but she did a good job keeping a straight face and everything um, Benicio del Toro plays the collector he was introduced in a brief scene in Thor the Dark World at the during the end credits and he does a he, he does a good job playing this character. He's not in this movie very much, but he has a, a he has a pretty important role in uh, Infinity War. But um, he does a good job in this. Um, and then uh, Michael Rooker plays Yondu, who is the guy who abducted abducted uh, Star Lord, but. Um, he was supposed to take him to his father, but he never did because he didn't like his father and everything. And so he pretty much raised Star Lord and everything. And he, he does a really good job um, in this movie. He has a much, much bigger and more important role in the sequel and everything. But um, even though he's somewhat a villain and everything, but he's still really likable. Um, Sean Gunn, who is James Gunn's brother, plays uh, Craglin, who is kind of like the second in command of Yondu's team. He's uh, Quill's, uh, Peter Quill's younger adopted brother, and uh, or like a brother or whatever. And he does a good job. In this once again in the se in the sequel, he, his role is a lot bigger than it was in this one. Um, and then we also get our first glimpse of Josh Brolin as Thanos in a small cameo and everything and uh, I think he was really great as Thanos but we couldn't really tell very much how great he was going to be yet in this movie and everything he, he did seem threatening but um, he's crunchy but um, anyway, uh, yeah, the cast in this movie is great. They all work really, really well together, and the characters are very, very well written and everything. The score in this movie is done by Tyler Bates, and he does a really good job with the score. Um, like most of the MCU movie scores though it's not like anything extremely special it's not real real memorable or anything but I think it's really a decent score and everything but um it, it works for this movie very well it has some really good action scenes and stuff in the and like the music at the end of the movie where Groot is sacrificing himself it just, it brings a lot of helps with the emotions and stuff for that scene and everything so I, I think the score is pretty good um, the cinematography by Ben Davis is really good I think it's easily some of the best in the MCU I don't think it quite lives up to uh, the cinematography in Thor the Dark World but um, the cinematography in it is really good um, the editing by Fred Raskin, Craig Wood, and Hughes Winebone are, is really good too. Um, the movie is very well edited. I think the special effects in this movie are really, really good for the most part. There is a little bit of CGI that isn't very good, but for the most part I think they did a rather decent job and everything. Rocket, Raccoon, and Groot both look pretty good for being CGI. And everything, and uh, and everything. But um, I really love how we kind of learn a little bit about these characters' backstories and how they're all kind of like broken inside. They, they come from tragic backgrounds and everything. 
and that's kind of what brings them together. I like that. Um, I think that's awesome. And uh, but uh, yeah, this is just a really, really well written movie. The the humor works perfectly for this movie. The action is great, and the, uh, it has a lot of heart and everything in it really emotional scene towards the end with Groot and everything so this is a really fun movie to watch and it's definitely one of the best in the MCU and um, I'd say I'd give Guardians of the Galaxy 10 out of 10 because I can't I don't really there's not really anything about this movie that I don't don't like it there's not one part in the movie that I'm bored through or anything like that I just find it to be a, a really fun movie and it, uh, and everything. The only thing that I didn't like is, like I said, some of the CGI was a little bit bad, but it wasn't anything that messed up the movie to me and everything. I think it was just a really good time at the movies and everything. But uh, let me know in the comments yeah. what you think of this movie. Okay. And... Uh, Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and um, if there's any other movie series rankings, top 10 lists, or anything you'd like me to do, let me know in the comments, um, movie reviews, whatever, um, I'll get to them as quick as I can, and if you like to talk about movies or you review movies on YouTube or whatever, if you want to share your videos or share your reviews, you know, talk about movies you can join my facebook group movie talk and reviews um i'll try to leave a link in the description box i don't think i left one in there last time i meant to but i'm gonna do it this time and um if uh you can also follow me on facebook at overboy1992 and thank you and have a good day Thank <laughs> you.